Welcome back and get excited because in this video, we're going to be going through just about every query that Vuke's ORM has to offer. And in order to do this video, I'm just gonna move, uh, move Visual Studio Code over to the right, my browser to the left, just so we can constantly see what we're getting on the left side here, rather than you having to watch me switch back and forth constantly. So I'm gonna double click on that, Control D and we'll call this advanced queries. We'll say yarn serve, save that, copy that, throw it in here, dot view, whack in our template, throw in a div there just to check that it's working, save it, control click that and let's see if it worked. Yep, it has. So we'll have our console up here, just bring it down to about there. And I'm gonna show you a cool little trick that we can do uh, so that while we're testing things, we can see our results. So what you can do is actually just add a pre-tag here like this, and then throw something into that pre-tag, for example, result, and that's going to display it in a really nice way. And I'll show you what I mean by that in a second. So if we come down here, let's create a mounted hook. And we're going to insert some users. So user, and then we'll say user.insert, take in an object, take in some data. Uh, we'll want that to be an array because we're going to use quite a few users. And let's just start with me to begin with. First name is equal to Luke. And then the last name is going to be equal to Debold. You can use your own name there the name of somebody that you know, give it an ID of one. And I think that should do for now. And I'm going to do one more. And that will be my girlfriend, Shannon. There we go. All right, so it looks like we've got an error. Ah, result hasn't been defined yet. Okay, so that's fine. Bring that back down. And now we're going to create a computed property saying you, uh, we'll call this result actually, result, and then we'll return a query. So let's just start with user.all, and there we go. So the cool thing about the pre-tag is it just shoves it all in up there and displays it really nicely. So let me just change the ID of that one. And there you go, so that's pretty cool. Now let's dive right in and go through all of these queries. Another one we have, which we've already done before, is find. So we can find the person with an ID of one and we get just Luke. And then we can say find in and then pass it an array. So if we want the ID of one and two, that's going to give us both Shannon and me. And just to show that that works, we're going to add another user. Let's add my sister, Joanna. All right. Joanna Debold and set that with an ID of three. And now we still only get Luke and Shannon. However, if I bring this back to all, we're going to get an extra person there. So that's pretty cool. So they're the easy ones. Now let's explore the query builder. So this is really cool. Once we call query, we can start chaining some awesome stuff. And when we're done chaining, we're going to call dot get. And at the moment, I haven't filtered anything on user, so that'll just give us the same result. We're still just grabbing all of the users. Now, another thing we can do is say first, so give me the first user. There we go. I'm the first person on the list. And if I say last, that should give us Joanna. And it does. Now, one of the most powerful things that Vuke's ORM has to offer is the where clause. So we can say, for example, where first name is equal to Luke, oh, and whenever we use a where clause, we then have to call get at the end. So we'll call get, oh, and I've got a little typo here. There we go, so that's working. Or we could say where the first name is Joanna. That also works, so that's pretty cool. Now this can also be a number. So for example, we could put in an age, and we could say where the age is equal to 28. So let's come up here. Give Joanna an age of, I can't remember how old she is, maybe like 34. Give Shannon an age of 27. 
and then me an age of 28. There we go. So now we can say where the age is equal to 28 and we just get me. So that's pretty cool. And we can also pass in a function here. So we can say where this function is true and we can accept the age in there and then say, for example, where the age is greater than 18. And I'm just going to return that. There we go. So we all have an age that's greater than 18. Now let's add somebody else here that's younger than 18. And this person is going to be a prince and let's call them Prince Henry. Prince Henry is 14 years old. Oh, and that didn't work because I've duplicated the ID. So let's go back, change that to four. And there we go. We get everybody except Prince Henry. Now, notice that the second argument here is a function. If we make the first argument a function, then we have total control over user. Okay, so at the moment, we're accepting the age as the parameter, whereas if the first argument is a function, we can accept user, the entire user, as a parameter. So check this out. I can now say where the user dot first name is equal to Luke or the user dot first name is equal to Shannon. And there we go, we get Luke and Shannon. So that gives us an immense amount of power, which is really cool. Oh, and by the way, we can accept the query here as well. So we can say user and query. And now we can say query dot where first name is equal to Luke, for example. And then maybe you want to say also where the last name is equal to Debold, just as a kind of silly example. So get rid of that. And there we go. That works as well, which is pretty cool. Now, remember before when we said find, and then we can just throw the ID straight in there. We can also chain find queries by using where ID. So we can say where the ID is equal to one. And there we go. So we could say where the ID is equal to two. So that's working. Or we could say where ID in, then we could bring through the IDs three and four. And that works as well. So let's do an example with that. We could say where the ID is three, four, or five, and where the age is greater than 18. And there we go. So we only get Joanna. So three, four, five, we come back here. Oh, we don't have an idea of five. So let's do a better example. Two, three, four. There we go, Shannon and Joanna, and we've skipped Prince Henry because he is 14. So that's pretty cool. Now with where statements, all of the statements need to be true. So this needs to be true, and this needs to be true. However, maybe for example, Prince Henry, uh, well, he's the prince, so he can do whatever the hell he wants. So maybe we wanna say the age needs to be greater than 18, unless you're the prince. So we could say, for example, where age is greater than 18, so that's already done, and then say, or where first name is equal to prince. So now we get everyone and the prince, okay? Because he can do whatever the hell he wants. Let's do another example of that. How about where first name is equal to Luke or where the first name is equal to Joanna. And there we go, that works too. We can also order things. So we could say, for example, order by uh, first name. And now we get everybody ordered by their first name. And if you don't add a second argument, then it's assumed that it is ascending, all right? But if you want, you can add ascending there, or we can do it in the opposite order, descending. And there we go, that works. We could also do it by the last name or last name ascending. So that's pretty cool. And notice how ridiculously easy all of this is to do and how beautiful the API remains. If you weren't using something like Vuke's ORM, this would be far more complex and your code would be a lot uglier. So I love this stuff. Oh, and by the way, all of those or statements that we were doing before, they can also use the same API as where. I'll show you what I mean. 
So if we say where name, uh, first name is equal to Luke, and then we say, or where, we could then say, for example, bring in the user, and then check that their age, user.age, is greater than, I don't know, 18, or user dot first name is equal to Prince. Okay, so kind of a silly example, but you get the idea. We can actually do, we can actually use the exact same API using Orware as well. Oh, and I've forgotten to call get here. And there we go. So that works too. Now there's two more things we're going to cover. And the first one is limit and offsets. This is really awesome. It gives us pagination really, really easily. And I'll show you how it works. If we say, for example, limit to two people, it's just going to give us the first two people. Got to call get on that. So there we go. We get Luke and Shannon. Or if we want to limit it to three, it gives us the first three. So that's pretty cool. But we can also add here dot offset. And we could set that, for example, to one. And if I set that to one, it's going to skip the first person. And there we go. It skipped me now. And it's just calling Shannon, Joanna, and the prince. So that's really cool. And what this means is that we can do pagination really easily. So check this out. I can just add a button here. And that button can say previous. Then we can add another button called next. Make this a capital. And then we can say that when you click this button, then the offset is equal to the current offset uh, plus two. So maybe we're going to go two pages at a time. And then let's do the exact opposite here for next. Oh, actually, though, that should be minus two, and that should be plus two. Now, if we come down here, we can add offset to our data and set it to zero by default. Come up here. And now the offset is going to be equal to this dot offset, just some basic view stuff. And let's limit it to two. There we go, refresh the page. And now we've got these buttons up here and they work. We got pagination, like, isn't that insanely cool? How ridiculously easy that was to do with Vuke's ORM. Now, the last thing we're going to cover is aggregates. So if I come over here, get rid of that, we can say count. And that's just going to give us the number of users, which is four at the moment. We could also say, for example, max and give me the max age. Okay, so who's the oldest person? They are 34 years old. And of course, we're going to have min as well. And that's 14. So that's going to be the prince. Or if we wanted, we could just sum all of the ages. And the combined age of all of us shows up there. So that's really cool. And there you have it. That's pretty much all of the basic queries that we have. I mean, they're not really basic, but you get the idea. All of the main queries that we have using Vuke's ORM. And in the next video, I'm going to show you how you can do a whole bunch of this stuff using relationships. Yeah. So by the way, all of the stuff I've shown you in this video is true with relationships as well. It's really cool. I can't wait to show it to you guys. See you in the next video.